My name is Brianna Weichel. I'm majoring in public health, and I am from Hawaii. That's awesome. So what does sustainability mean to you, Bri? Okay, so sustainability means that we have to better our now so that we can continue our lifestyle and better in the future. Great. Do you know what environmental justice is, and could you provide a brief explanation on your thoughts about it? Our environment is currently suffering, and so are our communities, um, through examples such as like wildfires and our warm winter climates. And so we need to uh, bring awareness and fix that. I learned in the class about different zip codes and how it ex um, changes your life expectancy even if they're only a few miles away. So one zip code who might be like a poor community, they, um, if they're around air pollution or they don't have as much access to public transportation or grocery stores and such, then they might have a life expectancy that's maybe 10 years lower than someone that's a few miles away that's in a richer neighborhood that they're more well off because they have access to the grocery stores and stuff and they're not as um, close to the air pollution among other types of pollution. Awesome. What are some of the ways that you think Hamlin could be more sustainable? Um, something that's easy that Hamlin could do is more composting, like maybe have it available in um, like the apartments and the dorms and such. I know the FRC composts and there's some sections in Ando, but maybe expanding on that. Great. What problems have you seen in your life due to climate change? Um, well, I'm from Hawaii, so um, there was recently some fires. And um, otherwise, we've experienced the warm winters here in Minnesota. Do you know of any solutions that you would like to see implemented surrounding climate change? Some actions we can take is trying to expand on our knowledge and um, education amongst people and then there's things like expanding public transportation and um, getting access to things such as food and other things like that in marginalized communities. Thanks Bree.